Well, the Central Arkansas family has teamed up with the Arkansas Stop the Violence mission to hopefully get justice after their father was killed. Yeah, 78 year old Bruce Tate was found dead this past Wednesday in the 200 block of West 14th Street. Police say he had serious injuries, but they're still investigating what exactly caused them. Mm. Winnie Thomas spoke with Tate's family today and has more on their fight for justice. Gary and Jessica, the Tate family says they haven't been able to get much rest knowing that the person who killed their father is still walking the streets. They say now all they want is answers and for the suspect to come forward. When he passed, he should have been surrounded by his loved ones. We should have had an opportunity to say goodbye. Sadness and grief coming from Courtney and Rashonda Tate, the children of 78 year old Bruce Tate, who was killed in North Little Rock on October 30th. You never think you never think that someone is capable of such evil. The Arkansas Stop the Violence movement held a press conference Sunday afternoon to help bring justice. North Little Rock police say Tate's body was found in the 200 block of West 14th Street. It's now been four days and there is no lead as to how he died. Police also say Tate has serious injuries but have yet to identify what caused them. We miss him. We love him. And please, please, just do the right thing. Tate's family asking the community for help, finding who's responsible for their father's death. My father has survived um, brain operations. He's survived falling off roofs. He survived all kind of um, illnesses. And then to lose his life like this, that, that, that's what we're struggling with. Rashonda and Courtney say their father was a man who continuously showed up for others. And now they're hoping he gets that in return. So if there's anyone out there that knows anything, we beg and we pray that you do the right thing and contact the authorities. Once again, if you have any information, you're being urged to call the North Little Rock Police Department. Reporting Whitney Thomas, KARK4 News.